Hi everyone, welcome back to Max Payne. The old service elevator rumbled down to the bowels of Jack Lupino's hotel. It was freaking crazy. The cops were doing a full-scale siege next door. More traffic than rush hour. I mean, bleeding bastards running back and forth, Ronnie and Jimbo to throat. And in the middle of all this, there we were. I didn't give a damn. Just going with the flow. So what happened? Nothing happened. We got the explosives, dumped the cargo. We were home free. Jeez. We can take these guys out quite easily by just throwing a Molotov cocktail. Ah, the sweet smell of napalm in the morning. There's not really any interactivity here, but I thought I'd check around for certain. You probably heard that DV going on there, so let's go watch what's on. A winter storm warning is in effect in the whole tri-state area, as both freezing rain and heavy snowfall continue. Many roadways are already closed, and people are advised to stay indoors. The severe blizzard has ravaged New York for three days now, with no end in sight. We'd been snowed from the start in the Valkyr case. The forecast said there was plenty more where that had come from. But the snowbound city was on my side. Less chance of innocent bystanders getting caught in the crossfire. Our next case of action is to go through that door. Where we'll get ambushed by these guys. However, we can shoot the canister and that'll make short work of them. Now you have to get lucky with these gas canisters. Sometimes they simply fly at the enemy, killing both of them, and at other times they just don't care and won't hit anyone at all. You can break the boxes here for some extra ammunition, and I highly suggest you do because there's an Ingram clip in there. Now we don't own the Ingram yet, but that'll be coming soon. Let's clear these last boxes and go into the next hallway. Exhibit number one, a newspaper. A dead man tied to a chair lay on the boiler room floor. Captain Baseball Bat Boy has an unbeatable track record in superhero death matches. <laughs> but a six pack of root beer gets me every time. The murder weapon was a baseball bat, now lying in a pool of drying blood next to a newspaper folded open on a Captain Baseball Bat Boy comic strip. Now that's a bit of foreshadowing there. If we go through here, we enter back in the room where we fought those two goons. Take vampire movies. Why are they always set in LA or Mexico? They can't even get a tan. If I was a bloodsucker, I'd move to the North Pole. Went this one long night. Yeah, and what would you eat? Suck blood from penguins? Nah, Eskimos, man, Eskimos. Ah! Whack the sucker! I've had before that I went through the door and the guy just instantly killed me with his shotgun.
Chill with the guns. Trust me, you don't want to piss Muerte off. Gentlemen, let's do business. Green for green. Tears of green-eyed angels. Amen. If you join a Molotov really well, you can actually kill all of them in one go. Guess what I failed at? A lifetime ago, this would have gone down as a narcotics arrest. Let's simply move on and go check the bar. The door was locked. I'd need a key to get through. To get the key, we actually need to go back in here. There was a key on the table. It was dirty money. The transparent cylinders glowed green, full of Valkyr. I highly suggest you look around this room for the Molotov cocktail. And for some additional painkillers if you need them. Let's go and open up that bar. Two mad dog killers, ready to murder each other. They step into the next room, and I'm thinking, now they're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. But no. They sit down in front of a TV and solve their differences with a kung fu fighting video game. I tell you, Candy, I was so depressed, I strangled them both with the video game cables. Oh, Rico, you're so bad. I am, ain't I? Mmm, mmm. Rico Muerte, big time hustler. Who the hell? It's that cop. Muerte went for his gun. You want to get the hell out of the way as soon as possible, because otherwise Candy will catch you off guard. All you have to do is wait for the guys to come out of that door and bomb them with a Molotov cocktail. She can actually take quite a lot of punishment. Luckily, there's some painkillers around. Let's chase after Rico. With his pants around his ankles. Be very careful when fighting Rico. And make sure you headshot everything, because he's holding an Ingram. The Ingram is definitely one of the best weapons in the game. And this is the reason why I told you you should pick up that Ingram clip. The antique switchboard was still in use. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area, the kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Since we can't make it through the exit yet, we need to go up first.
think you could take my money? You know who you're dealing with? Huh? Do you? Do you? Remember when I talked about people having serious rage issues? Well... Looks like it's broken. Once you drop through the window here, there's an ambush waiting for you. So be ready on that trigger. Now that these guys are dealt with, pick up all the ammo, open up the exit, and finally make our way out of here. And that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.